Hello friends, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic iterative development. Friend, today's topic is very important friend. Uh, if you are studying project management and uh, project management in university or you are planning to give exam related to <coughs> Scrum, Agile or PMP. So friend, this is a very important topic and you will see this topic in the exam. Secondly, as a professional project manager, if you are working somewhere, so again uh, this is very important to understand the concept of software development and project management as a project manager of software projects your concept should be very clear about iterative development and when you can use the iterative development method or and when it is not suitable to use the iterative development so when let's uh, start first of all i would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's uh, start what is iterative development friend first of all understand that this concept is related to project management or uh, and uh, project management and system development life cycle so f first of all we have to understand that what is uh, what is system development life cycle or sys sdlc sdlc means that friend whenever we are managing projects we use the uh, uh, standard approach of software development which is called as system development life cycle and it says that first of all we have to plan then develop then test and then deploy so this is the approach of sdlc plan develop test and deploy for example just take an example uh, you are implementing take, take an example like you are implementing e-commerce solution for a customer abc customer and what what you would do what you uh, what would be your approach of uh, sdlc approach would be like first of all you have to plan plan means that what is required how to do the things uh, you have to define the scope document you have to define the functional specifications then um, you will develop all the tasks then you will test all the tasks and then you will deploy all the uh, remaining tasks so friend this is the approach of the iterative uh, this is the approach of sdlc sdlc means system development life cycle and uh, this is the approach which we use for managing the software projects now um, here comes the concept of project as well that what is a project project as per the definition of pembok project is a temporary thing which has a beginning and ending point and it gives you a unique output product or service for example like they take an example like you are implementing e-commerce solutions so this is a project you are building a house this is a project you are building a flyover this is a project so anything which is temporary and unique and it gives you a unique output product or service that is called as project now coming back to our, towards our main topic iterative development friend uh, whenever we are implementing projects for example uh, website development so uh, website development uh, can be a good example of iterative development friend like what happened like we uh, develop few things a simplified version we develop of a uh, of a website then we showed it to the customer get his feedback then again develop then test again develop then test again develop and then test so this is the approach at which we uh, we reach at some point which is acceptable for our customer for example to take the same example of website development for example uh, customer want to build a website for his restaurant okay so what you would do you would pick make a very simple version of a, a website for his restaurant showed him to him showed him that this is this would be his website uh, which will contain for example it will contain only four options four menus okay you showed to him and um, get his feedback about the layout get his feedback about the functionality get his feedback about look and feel once you get the feedback you improve it and then showed him to uh, <coughs> then develop the version and showed him the uh, enhanced version of uh, website to him then again um, show, uh, get his feedback of customer uh, whatever he says that uh, whatever the enhancement he wants just note it down then again develop then uh, test it and then show it to the customer so after uh, four to five uh, versions 
we will definitely reach at some level which is acceptable for a customer okay so this is called an approach this is called an approach of iterative development iterative means friend that what you would do you iteration iteration means versioning basically so you uh, develop some version showed it to the customer get his feedback enhance the version then again show it to uh, develop test and then showed then again uh, develop test and show to customer so this is called an iterative development friend in which we are developing testing and showcasing the work to customer and after four to five versions or uh, you can say after multiple versions we reach at some point which is acceptable for a customer now friend uh, the benefits what are the benefits of iterative model benefits the majority of software development lifecycle have some form of versioning with the iterative model it makes versioning easier by ensuring a very every new iteration is an improved version of its previous iteration friend iteration model basically the main uh, benefit of iteration is the versioning versioning means friend that every new version is better than the previous one because it should have to be it must have to be enhanced version so first of all the major benefit of iteration is the uh, is the uh, is the versioning so uh, it seems like there are a lot of uh, stages to be followed through and repeated with the iteration model it actually offers a rapid turn around turn around each stage is effectively stimulated down into smaller time frames over time so friend basically the main benefit of iteration is the versioning versioning means that every version will have a better enhancement than the previous one advantages of uh, uh, the iteration model first of all the iteration software development means building the post product step by step which allows for the identification and correction of defects during the early stage to avoid their download flow downward flow into a further process with iterative development at the end of each stage you can get user feedback such as how they see the product now and what they are expecting it to look like in the future the iterative development approach helps you to save time on documentation which often accompanies the waterfall workflow and to focus more on designing on product project so these are the very important advantages of iteration uh, iterative model the disadvantage the disadvantage is that friend that although the whole iteration model is quite flexible iteration phases are rigid and have to be followed carefully unpredictable changes may occur during the iterative development because not all the requirements are specified from the very beginning of the project friend the very big disadvantage of uh, iterative development is that a very unexpected expectable changes will may occur in a project why because the changes the documentation is weak in that model and uh, the scoping is not very clear in that model because we are working on the uh, hit and trial approach so this is the very biggest disadvantage of iterative model so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot